All right, y'all, we back with a video, and surprisingly, we got a prospect this time, guys. I usually don't do videos on prospect, but guys, Adula Mason is so special. I had to make a video on this dude training, his conditioning, his strength, you know the whole thing. Y'all know how I do it. But guys, he, he trained a lot how Javante Davis trained, guys. He really explosive on the pads. He throw a lot of power punches, guys. But that's because he's such an explosive fighter, guys. If you want to be an explosive fighter, guys, you got to train to be explosive. And you're going to see him doing a lot of these on the past, guys, just being throwing a lot of punches, putting a lot of speed behind him, putting a lot of combination behind him. Guys, this is how he trained, and this guy fight like that. You can see it in his eye. Look at his face. This guy want to hurt people anytime he get into the ring. And, guys, he trained like this. So you'll see him doing a lot of pad work like this guy. Speed, speed, power. Because, guys, in the lower division, guys, speed is power. The more speed you got, the more you can land on speed, guys, the more power you got. Like I said, guys, he trained a lot like Devontae David. Look how fast Devontae David is. And Devontae a little bit faster. He's been doing it a little bit longer. But, guys, you can see the, the similarity in the way they train on the pads, guys. Now, guys, even on the back, he real calm. But, guy, he really supposed to. He throw a lot of power punches. Look at this. He, he a really good inside fighter, too, guys. And like Mike Tyson said, anytime you're training on the bad guys, you want to stay real close so you can work on your power punching, guys, because when you're standing real close to the bag, the bag can't go nowhere. It weighs like 200-some pounds. So you kind of – I don't know how to explain it, guys, but you kind of pushing off with your power, basically. If you were kind of farther away, you can't get that much power on it, guys. So you really got to put a lot of power on your punches the closer you are to the bag. That's what I meant. The closer you are, the more power you got to put on it. So you'll see him working real close to the bag. Now, guys, like I said, he kind of trained uh, similar to Devontae Davis and Canelo when it comes to the uh, the pad work right here. He do a lot of this, guys, working on his hooks, his power punching, guys. Anytime you see somebody working on this guy, they working on their hooks and their power punches. They're straight lefts. Because on the pad, you can't put too much power behind it because the pad is so small. So a lot of boxers will use this to work on their power punches. And you'll see a duel of Mason doing this a lot, guys. And it makes sense, like I said. Now, guys, y'all know what I call this bag, the accuracy bag, guys. And now a duel of Mason will work this bag a lot, guys. Guys, this guy, this guy don't miss. As you can see uh, see him working the, uh, the bag, guys, he haven't missed a punch on that bag. Every punch he threw had hit that bag right on the dot. So, guys, this, this really, really work on your accuracy. And in the fighting guys in general, guys, you want to have accuracy, guys. Now, guys, he'll do this drill a lot during training camp. And as you can tell, Dula Mason, he's in great shape. He's abbed up. He's a young man, so he don't got his full body strength yet. But, guys, he looked pretty strong to be at this younger age that he is. He's not that old, guys. He's in his 20s. So he still got a lot of growing to do, guys. But, guys, you can tell by Mason back, you can tell that he got a lot of strength, guys. Anytime a dude got a real wide back and a real strong back, guys, a lot of power come from your back, guys. A lot of people think it come from your legs, but, guys, that wouldn't make sense because Wilder got small, small legs, guys. So I'm telling you, a lot of punches come from your back muscle, guys, and Adula Mason got a pretty strong back. Now, guys, when it comes to weight training and stuff like this, Adula Mason do a lot of uh, calisthenics, guys. You'll see him doing stuff like this, kind of like push-ups, guys. Stuff like this, guys. Now, one thing he do, he do a lot of pull-ups, guys. Like I said, guys, he really want to get that back muscle strong, guys. A lot of fighters that know about boxing and stuff like that know that a lot of your power comes from your back muscles. So he'll do a lot of pull-ups. When it comes to conditioning, guys, he do a lot of sprints. He don't do too much running miles and stuff like that. He do a lot of sprints, guys, to work on his explosion. Like I told y'all, guys, Tank do the same thing. Now, guys, when it comes to his sparring, guys, I mean, this guy did pinpoint accuracy, guys. Like, even in sparring, guys, like, nobody can touch him. Even when it comes to sparring, guys, look at this. Look at the check right hook, guys. Then watch him unload on the combination in the inside. Boom, boom, boom. Man, this guy's special, guys. And when it comes to fighting guys, Adula Mason is real calm in the inside. Look at that. 
They caught him with a right uppercut, guys, and then the guy just started running away, guys. And you will see a lot of people, you will see this a lot in his career, guys, a lot in his fight, guys. When they get in the inside with him, guys, they just fold up, guys. He's so good at landing his punches and his accuracy in the inside. Look at this. Boom, boom. He's so good at throwing that right hook to the body, guys, and coming back with that left hand, guys. Look at that. That right hook to the body and that left hand, guys, he ain't mastered that combination, guys. It's so hard to guard. And, guys, you cannot stay on the outside with Abdullah Mason. If you stay on the outside, he will catch you. If you try to rush in like he did, he will catch you with a right hook. Now, guys, this combination was so special, guys. I had to slow it down. He did it so fast, I had to slow the video down, guys. He's so good with his combination and setting up his power combination, guys. And like I said, guys, he, pinpoint, he pinpoint accuracy when it comes to the left hand. His strong hand, guys, he will land it at will in the fight, guys. He real good at throwing that right uppercut in the inside, guys. I noticed that. And like I said, guys, he going to throw that right hook to the body and come back with the left. Guys, you hit a dude to the body, then hit him in his chin, he, he's not going to want to fight no more, guys. Like I said, look at that right hook to the body, then the left hand, guys. That's one of his favorite combinations, guys. But he switched it up so perfectly, you'll never know when it's coming. He have a lot of speed on it, so it's so hard to guard. Look, look at that left hand, guys. Inside work, like I said, guys. This dude is a really, really good inside fighter, guys. You really do not do not want to get in the inside with this dude. He going to throw a lot of hooks to the body, a lot of left hands. Now, guys, this was his last fight. A perfect counter left hand, guys. So, he even getting better at counter punching now, guys. This dude is going to be real, real dangerous, guys. I don't... Guys, this one... Y'all know I don't do a lot of videos on prospects, guys. But this guy caught my attention, guys. He got all the tools you need to be a great fighter, guys. I look forward to watching him.